Okay, so hey guys, and today I'm back with the Star Wars The Clone Wars review, and this time I'm finally reviewing the last season of it, which is season 7, which was a season that came after such a long time, and a season which tested the patience of the fan base for so long. But at the end, I must say, it definitely paid off. Let's begin the review. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the first arc of it, and I absolutely loved it because it finally focused on some more of that clone trooper action, and as you know, I always liked that clone trooper action and clone trooper character development, and I would say this arc of the season had the best clone trooper story and surpassed the stories of the previous clone trooper arcs by quite a long shot. I loved how they mixed mystery with action and also some comedy thrown in just at the right place for good measure, and the first arc of the season being an arc revolving around clone troopers really makes the ending of the season have more weight in my opinion, because the ending had a lot to do with clone troopers, their characters, their duty and their emotions. Okay, so let's talk about the worst arc of the season which single-handedly stop me from giving it a 10 out of 10. And what's worse, it's a freaking filler arc, so it didn't hold any importance to the rest of the plot whatsoever and wasn't necessary at all, so they could have easily removed it. And if they did remove it, this season could have been absolutely perfect. This freaking arc is the only thing stopping the season from being a masterpiece, honestly. I can't think of a reason to let this arc stay in this season. Like. Couldn't they show these episodes in season 6 or something? Wasn't season 6 meant for just that filler? Is this really annoying when you have an entire season for filler stuff but you still decide to inject filler and that too disgustingly boring filler into an actually important season? An important season which could have been an absolute work of art if not for this one freaking filler arc. But just like in season 5. After the darkness came the light. And oh look, the light came with the Mandalo arc again. Looks like Mandalo truly is a nice savior of the seasons of Clone Wars. Seriously though, this arc was so great and so action packed, and the best part about it was Maul came back to his full phantom menace glory in it. From being that calm, calculative Sith Lord to the double edged lightsaber wielding maniac. Maul was absolutely amazing in here, just like he was back in the Phantom Menace. I didn't really have much hopes for Ahsoka vs Maul, so I didn't really expect much out of that duel, which is exactly why I was pleasantly surprised when I saw how stunning and phenomenal it was. Even the atmosphere during the duel was just so perfect, and this might just be my favorite duel out of all of Clone Wars, simply because of how much excellence oozes out of every moment of this awesome lightsaber duel. Okay, so now let's talk about the final arc of the final season of Clone Wars. The Order 66 arc. And this arc is undoubtedly the most emotional one out of the entire series. And what I like the most about it is that till now, the best arcs of Clone Wars have always relied on action and lightsaber duels and all for being as amazing as they are. But this Order 66 arc doesn't need all of that. Simple dialogues and interactions between the different characters of the show in this arc is enough to make it as fantastic as it is. Another plus point of it had to be how well it managed to tie itself with the Revenge of the Sith movie and not making some humongous plot hole or something by accident. And by the end of the arc and the season, it also makes you realize the devastating effects of Order 66, which kind of makes you hate Darth Sirius a bit more for carrying out such an evil and heartless move like this. It is true that Revenge of the Sith wasn't as good as this season when it comes to capturing the ruin, the destruction and the havoc that Order 66 bestowed upon the entire galaxy. And the ending of episode 12 is just so sad. They really went all out with making this season emotional, didn't Day. Truly a tragic ending. Rating 8.5 out of 10. Best episode, episode 10. Okay, so yeah, guys, and that was it for the video. And the reason I did not give this season a 10 out of 10 was again because of the stupid filler arc in the middle, which lowered its rating a bit. Anyways, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And so yeah, guys. Bye.